These projects, scattered across the globe, are redefining the boundaries of human achievement. From colossal bridges spanning oceans to high-speed railways linking continents, each mega-project holds the promise of transforming societies and shaping the future. Join me on a journey as we explore the most ambitious undertakings in the realm of global infrastructure. Starting with one, the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia. Formerly known as the Kingdom Tower, the Jeddah Tower is set to become the tallest building in the world upon completion. Located in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, this architectural marvel was designed by Adrian Smith and will stand at a staggering height of over 1,000 meters. To put this in perspective, the current tallest building, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, is 828.8 meters tall, making the Jeddah Tower a significant leap in height. Inspired by both Islamic and contemporary architectural elements, the tower will house luxury residences, hotels, offices, and observation decks offering breathtaking views of the Red Sea. However, the construction of this monumental structure has been a massive undertaking, requiring innovative engineering solutions to overcome challenges posed by the region's geology, extreme temperatures, and high winds. Despite starting construction in 2013 with an estimated cost of $1.5 billion, the project faced issues and came to a halt in 2018. However, in late 2020, work resumed with a new target completion date of 2024. The Jeddah Tower is envisioned as the centerpiece of the Jeddah Economic City project, symbolizing Saudi Arabia's economic regeneration. Two. Forest City, Malaysia. The Forest City project is an ambitious urban development located on the southern coast of Malaysia, near the Johor Strait and in close proximity to Singapore. This futuristic city, built on reclaimed land, is a joint venture between Country Garden Holdings, a Chinese property developer, and the Malaysian government. The project aims to address urbanization challenges while promoting economic growth and environmental conservation. It features a green environment with extensive parks, waterways, and green spaces. Sustainability is a key focus with an emphasis on renewable energy sources and advanced waste management systems. Smart city concepts, including automated transport systems, Smart homes and digital infrastructure are integrated from the beginning. While the project has faced initial challenges, such as slow unit sales due to an emphasis on international buyers, recent investments have breathed new life into the development. If all goes well, the forest city is expected to be completed by 2035. 3. Dolera Solar Power Plant, India Located in the Indian state of Gujarat, the Dolera Solar Power Plant is a groundbreaking, renewable energy project that could transform India's power network. Chosen for its location, which receives nearly continuous sunlight throughout the year, the plant is expected to have an impressive installed capacity, potentially generating several thousand megawatts. Covering an area of 4,400 square miles, the plant will be divided into 100 blocks, each containing 1,002 megawatt capacity installations. The energy produced will be connected to the grid via a series of 1,000 mile underground cables. With an estimated cost of up to $3.5 billion, the Dolera solar power plant is crucial to India's efforts to reduce its reliance on fossil fuels and meet its energy needs. The project showcases India's commitment to renewable energy and its potential as a blueprint for similar installations across the country. 4. Flamanville 3, France Despite the ongoing controversy surrounding nuclear energy, France is at the forefront of advanced nuclear technology. Flamanville 3, located in northwestern France, is a new generation reactor with a capacity of 1,650 megawatts. It is being built at the Flamanville nuclear power plant, known for its pressurized water reactor designs. Flamanville 3 is equipped with advanced safety features and improved efficiency, making it the most advanced reactor of its kind globally. 
The plant incorporates multiple redundant safety systems to ensure stability and safety, even in the event of operational issues. Construction, however, has faced challenges, including issues with the quality of steel used in the reactor and funding shortages. The project, initiated in 2007, was initially expected to be completed by 2012, but the latest timeline points to a completion date in 2024. Once operational, Flamanville 3 will play a vital role in ensuring France's energy security, especially amid rising political tensions in Europe, which could limit access to alternative fuel sources in the future. Waterport, Pakistan, situated in the southwestern province of Baluchistan, Pakistan. Gwadarport is a strategically significant deep water seaport. The port's first phase of construction began in 2002, with the majority of funding provided by China as part of its Belt and Road Initiative. This project is expected to bring economic prosperity to the region and hosts. One of the world's largest floating liquefied natural gas facilities. Gwadar's location along the Arabian Sea makes it of immense strategic importance. Providing a more efficient trade route for China, Central Asian countries, and landlocked Afghanistan compared to their existing access points through the congested Strait of Malacca. Its proximity to vital sea lanes positions it as a potential hub for regional and international trade, significantly boosting economic activity in the area. The port's development has spurred substantial investments in its infrastructure, including the expansion of berths, construction of cargo terminals, and the establishment of a free economic zone. These initiatives aim to make Gwadar a vital hub in the global trade network. The project has been in the works for decades, with the current development, expected to be completed by 2030, at a cost of tens of billions. This investment is projected to yield significant returns, as long as the shipping industry remains as important in the future as it is now. The Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway, China, the Beijing to Shanghai High-Speed Railway stands as a critical transport link in China, connecting the political and cultural capital, Beijing, with the economic center, Shanghai, stretching over 1,318 kilometers and costing over $33 billion or more, by some estimates, it is the most profitable high-speed rail line in China and one of the busiest globally accommodating 140 million passengers in a typical year. Construction of this project began in 2008, and was remarkably completed by 2011, making it one of the fastest rail projects ever. With a top speed of 350 km per hour, the railway serves 24 stations along its route. Travel time between Beijing and Shanghai has been reduced to just under 4 hours a significant improvement over the nearly 10 hours it would take on the conventional railway. Approximately 50% of the railway is elevated, featuring numerous tunnels and bridges, including the Grand Bridge, the longest in the world. With services departing every 5 minutes, the railway efficiently transports 220,000 people each day, with over 1,000 passengers on each train. The energy consumption per person for a journey along the entire route is about the same as fully charging an electric car. Great man-made river project Lidlalaya, characterized by vast areas of sand and desert, once faced significant challenges as a result of its arid climate. However, the country's former leader initiated what is known as the Great Man-Made River Project GMP. While the leader was known for various controversies, this project aimed to transport underground water to support agriculture and communities. The GMP's planning began in the 1980s, and construction of its first stage began in 1984. This project is one of the longest-running mega-projects of current times. It has encountered delays due to political difficulties, but its sheer scale is a primary reason for the extended timeline. The project involves over 2,820 miles of underground pipes and more than 1,300 wells, providing approximately 1.7 billion gallons of fresh water daily to major cities and rural areas. This project has incurred an estimated cost of 25 billion. 
which is only a quarter of the expense that equivalent desalination plants would have entailed. Once the fifth phase is completed, it will form the largest connected network of pipes and aqueducts globally, spanning over 2,820 miles. California High Speed Rail The California High Speed Rail Network is a high-speed rail system. Planned to connect Anaheim and Union Station in downtown LA with the Salesforce Transit Center in San Francisco. The project, the most expensive single construction project in American history, has stirred significant controversy. It was authorized in 2008, and despite billions of dollars having been invested, there have been repeated delays and cost overruns. The budget has ballooned from the original $30 billion to at least $77 billion, and the completion date has been pushed back by several years. The first train is now expected to run sometime during the 2030s. Torontoman Azabudai, Japan Torontoman Azabudai is an urban development project in Tokyo, Japan, taking place in the prestigious Minata Ward. This project is a joint effort involving Mitsui Fudasan Company and other leading Japanese companies. It centers around three high-rise towers, one of which is set to become Tokyo and Japan's tallest building. These skyscrapers are designed by renowned architects and aim to serve as beacons in the city, driving investment and redevelopment in the surrounding area. The project encompasses various uses including offices, luxury residences, hotels, retail spaces, cultural facilities, and green spaces. Sustainability is a core focus, with an emphasis on energy-efficient technologies and green building practices. Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam Ethiopia, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam GERD is a massive hydroelectric project located on the Blue Nile River in Ethiopia. It's one of the largest energy developments globally, measuring 6,000 feet in length and 475 feet in height. Once completed, it will be Africa's largest hydroelectric dam and a significant source of renewable energy for Ethiopia. The project has a budget of $4 billion and has led to diplomatic tensions with Sudan and Egypt as they are concerned about the impact on water flow downstream. The project is expected to provide electricity and water to Ethiopian citizens, with a few phases of reservoir filling remaining. Neom, Saudi Arabia, Neom is a mega-city development project located in northwestern Saudi Arabia, near the borders of Jordan and Egypt. It is part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 plan and aims to transform the country into a technologically advanced and sustainable urban center. Neom will cover a vast area, exceeding 26,500 square miles, and costing over $500 billion. The project includes a floating industrial complex, a global trade hub, tourist resorts, and a linear city called The Line, among other elements. The Line will be an engineering challenge, measuring hundreds of miles in length and housing millions of people. Neom focuses on sustainability and renewable energy sources, aiming to set environmental standards for future urban development. South North Water Transfer Project China China's South North Water Transfer Project is a massive engineering endeavor aimed at transferring trillions of gallons of water from the Yangtze River in southern China to the drier northern regions. The project consists of three canal networks, the eastern, central, and western routes. It involves the relocation of hundreds of thousands of people and has incurred costs exceeding $80 billion. While the central section is complete, the eastern and western routes face challenges due to potential environmental and diplomatic issues. The project aims to support economic development and provide water resources to the northern regions, but also raises concerns about its environmental impact. Tren Maya, Mexico Tren Maya is an infrastructure project in Mexico that involves the construction of a modern railway network. This project, which began in the mid-2010s, seeks to connect major tourist destinations and cities in southeastern Mexico including Chiapas, Tabasco, Campeche, Yucatan, and Quintana Roo. 
The railway is expected to ease congestion on the existing road network and provide efficient transportation options. It offers various services to accommodate different types of travelers, and its completion is crucial for regional development and tourism opportunities. Grand Paris Express, France The Grand Paris Express is a project aimed at expanding and modernizing the Paris metro system. It involves the addition of new metro lines, extensions to existing lines, and the creation of a fully automated, driverless metro network. The project covers around 39 miles and includes nearly 68 new stations. While the first parts of the network are set to be operational by 2024, the full completion is expected by 2030. The expansion is essential to address congestion and cater to the growing population in the Paris metropolitan area. Dubailand, Dubai. Dubailand is a colossal entertainment and leisure complex in Dubai, aiming to transform the city into a global tourism and entertainment hub. Covering an area of over 278 square miles, it rivals Disney World in Florida in size. Dubailand includes a wide range of attractions, from theme parks and resorts, to sports facilities, shopping districts, and cultural centers. Dubai has invested heavily in recent years to make it one of the world's premier destinations. With numerous iconic developments and Dubailand is part of this ambitious vision. These mega-projects highlight the scale, complexity, and impact of large-scale infrastructure and development endeavors in various parts of the world.